this is what we did last week uh question number 7 the graph below represent uh, the successive ionization energy of element x so any element is there unknown element x is there and the successive ionization energy means you are removing electron from the last shell and then you continue till you remove the electron from it then it is plotted against the number of electron which is removed so this is when you remove first electron second then third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine 10 and 11 you can see here because what happen for any element when we remove electron from last shell and when we change the shell like example when there is a change in the shell there will be a big jump in ionization energy reason why there will be big jump in ionization energy because electrons which are there in the last shell they are far away from the nucleus so we need a small amount of energy to remove them but electrons which are closer to the nucleus lower shells so we need greater amount of energy to remove those electrons so first thing you have to identify which group it belongs to how you can identify look you remove one electron then when you remove the second electron there is a jump there is a gap but the thing is when you remove the fourth electron there is also a jump so what does it means it means that this jump is due to change in the orbital why this jump is change in the orbital because for like example if i remove electron from 2p orbital i need smaller amount of energy as compared to 2s orbital so when orbital changes there will be a gap difference will be there in ionization energy but when the shell changes there will be a greater difference in ionization energy so how i conclude that this is due to the orbital this is not due to the shell because if it was due to the shell then the other ionization energy should be in the order means it should be like this because the lower shell should have eight electron but what happen when you we remove one electron then when we remove the second electron there is a small gap then third and fourth electron removed they are in the same range order then when we remove the fourth electron there is a big jump and then you can see they are in the order so when they are in the order what it shows it shows they are in the same shell so how many electrons are there in the last shell of this element how many electrons are there in the last shell of this element these are the three electrons which are there and this is the second inner shell so how many electrons are there in the last shell of this element there are three electrons in the last shell of this element now from this question from this graph it is possible to deduce the group of x from the in the periodic table so which group it belongs to because the number of the electron in the last shell shows the group number so as we identify because three of the energies are closer and then there is a gap so shows that there is a change why this gap is there this is because change in orbital and why this other gap is there it's because change in shell and how i ensure that this is because of change in shell because the other energies are in the same order so when they are in the same order this shows that this is in the same shell and this was from other shell so how many electrons are there in the last shell of this element so there are three electron if three electrons are there so this element belongs to group 3 is it clear from the graph it is possible to deduce the most stable line so if it is a group 3 element what will be the charge on group 
group three tend to lose because the metal group three is there. So what group three tend to do? Group three tend to lose all of their valence electron. So what will be the stable charge or stable ion when they loses electron? So it will be X with a charge three plus or plus three. which changes atomization. What is the meaning of atomization? When we produce one atom, so when we produce one mole of atom in a gaseous state, what we call, we call that as atomization. So which one is atomization, A, B, C, or D? So just you have to check in which one you produce one mole of atom in a gaseous state. So D is a right answer. Everyone should participate. Even your answer is wrong. It's not an issue. But when you show and when you participate, it shows your understanding of the topic as well. Like I can judge how much you understand from the explanation. The next question, which group this element belongs to? So you have to check this ionization energy. First it is 789, then it is double, which is about 1577. Then it's also double of 1500. Then it is 4,300 and suddenly 16,000. So when suddenly 16,000, so what this gives an idea, this is a big jump. So if there's a big jump, that what gives you an idea, it gives that now the shell changes. So how many electrons are there in the last shell? Because four ionization energies are approximately like twice of each other, but then there's a big jump. When there's a big jump, what it shows, it shows that the shell changes. So if the shell change, how many electron in the last shell? One, two, three, four. So it means it belongs to group four. Is it clear? So when you check these numbers, the ionization energy, there will be a big jump when you remove electron from another shell. So you can see the first number, 789. Then second one is 1500. Approximately double, it's not a big jump. Then 3,232. Then 4,356. But when you remove the fifth electron, you can see a very big jump. It changes from 4,000 to 16,000. So this is a big jump. So what it shows when there's a big jump in ionization energy, it shows that the shell changes. I Means this is a lower shell. This is the outer shell. And this one is a inner shell. So how many electrons appear in the outer shell? Because there are four electrons appear in the outer shell. So what we can say, we can say that this element belongs to group four. An isotope of an element which is having atomic number Z and has a mass number 2Z plus 4. 
how many neutrons are there how so this is atomic number is z and the mass number is 2z minus 4 plus 4 so how to find the number of neutron number of neutron is equals to mass number minus so the mass number minus the atomic number you will get the number of neutron so mass number is uh, 2z plus 4 minus the atomic number is z so when you solve this 2z minus z that's equal to z so n is equals to z plus 4 so that's why a is a right answer for question 4 question number 13 when aluminum is plus 4 ion is formed from an atom the fourth electron is lost from so it's better you write the electronic configuration to understand how the electron so aluminum is atomic number 13 what is the electronic structure or electronic configuration of aluminum it is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p1. So when we remove the electron, removal of electron is always from the last. So first electron remove remove from 3p, then 3s, then also 3s. And from where we remove the electron, we remove the electron from 2p subshell. So what is the fourth electron is removed from 2p because we want to make aluminium plus four. So what's the right answer? C is the correct answer. Is it clear? so in in some versions of periodic table hydrogen is placed in the same group as sodium give the electronic uh, configuration of both hydrogen atom and sodium atom using s and p notation and use this to justify or give the reason so when we write the electronic configuration for hydrogen because hydrogen is uh, atomic number 1 so it is 1s1 and sodium is 11 so it is uh, 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 so why hydrogen and sodium are some in the periodic table they are placed in the same group because you can see here both have same number of electron in the last shell for hydrogen actually first shell is the last shell which is having one electron for sodium third shell is the last shell so reason is that because both have same number of electron in the last shell that is why belongs to same group next which element in the periodic table has the highest first ionization energy and it's of 3 marks so which element is having the highest ionization energy as we discuss this ionization energy that helium is having the highest ionization energy yeah that's right helium is having the highest first ionization energy and what is the reason for that so one mark because it's of 3 marks so how you will write your answer the first thing you will mention the element name of the element so that's helium 
the second thing because electron removed from the closest new uh, shell so electron is removed from the closest shell and it has no shielding effect because shielding effect is refers to when inner shell electrons repel the outer shell electron it will have a shielding effect so because it does not have any shielding effect or no shielding effect so due to this reason we say that it is having the highest first ionization energy the number of unpaired electron in nitrogen atom in a ground state ground state means like it does not lose or gain electron electrons in a normal configuration so when we write nitrogen draw the structure of nitrogen so it is uh, 7 and 14 so in terms of uh, orbital when we write it is 1s2 2s2 and 2p3 when we make electron in a box model so 1s will have uh, two electron 2s will have two but 2p having three so singly they will occupy so how many unpaired electrons are there how many electron did not pair up so that's 3 is it clear Okay, question nineteen. In question nineteen, four uh, four sequence of ionization energy of element is given. Which sequence give the first ionization of element going down the group? So when we go down the group, the ionization energy should decrease because. the size is increasing so ionization energy should decrease as we go down the group the first element will have one shell the second in the group two then three and so on which series is giving a sequence or which sequence is giving energy down the group it should decrease so you have to check this number 4 590 then 1145 then 490 Four thousand nine hundred and twelve, six thousand four hundred, and eight thousand one hundred and forty-four. So, what is happening in this case? Ionization energy is increasing. So, this cannot be because as we go down the group, the size increase. So, if the size increase, the ionization energy should decrease. when you check this one 520 496 419 403 376 so for b as you can see as you go down ionization energy should decrease so the all the values are decreasing why not this one it's 1000 and 1200 and then suddenly down uh, increase and then it decreases so it means this cannot be so that's why b is a right answer is it clear the first one
the second question the sequence which show first five ionization energy of calcium so first five ionization energy of calcium so calcium is 20 and 40 so when we write the electronic configuration for calcium it is uh, 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 so means when we remove electron the first electron is from 4s then 4s and then 3p so means first two should be closer and then there should be a jump so there should be a jump from between the second and the third ionization so you have to check which one give a jump from second to third ionization so this is 590 1145 and then suddenly there's a jump 4000 so what it shows means a is a calcium the sequence showing the first ionization of successive element in which atomic number increased by 1 starting from group 6 so means the first element should be group 6 then group 7 then group 8 and after group 8 you will come to group 1 and then group 2 so moving across the period the ionization energy increase so for first three element it should increase and then as you change the period it should it will increase as well but there will be a decrease when moving from third to fourth element so which one is a right answer the sequence showing that first ionization of successive element in which atomic number increase by 1 means group 6 then group 7 group 8 group 8 should have the highest ionization and then as moving from good group 8 if atomic number increase it means you will have group 1 again or the next period group 1 element so what will be the answer so c will be the answer you can see 1000 because the sequence is what they mention like if you have a periodic table So these are the groups of a periodic table. Group one is there. Two, example group three, four, five, six, seven, and group eight. So example, they mentioned the first element should be group six. So group six, seven, eight. What will happen? It will increase. But then what happen? As one more atomic number increases. like for so you'll move to another period so as you move to another period this element of group 1 will have a lower ionization energy than group 8 and moving from 1 to 2 across the period again it will increase so means for first three element it should increase then there should be a jump or a gap the ionization energy should decrease and then it will increase so first three element 1000 1200 1500 it increases so it means this is group 6 7 8 and then this is group 1 and 2 so that's why for this one 19 c is a correct answer is it clear is this clear any doubt in this
look in the question they mention the sequence which shows the first ionization energy of successive elements in which the atomic number increase by one each time starting with element in group 6 so the element which is there in a group 6 then next element will be in group 7 because the atomic number increase then next element is in group 8 if i add one more proton number that element will be in group 1 again and then group 2 so means when moving from element of group 6 7 and 8 ionization energy will increase but as atomic number increase from group 8 again so you will have group 1 element so it means moving from 8 to group 1 element the ionization energy will decrease and so means after three ionization energies the four means there should be a gap between third and fourth ionization so moving the third ionization energy value and the fourth ionization energy value they should decrease so you can see here it is 1000 then 1251 then 1521 so it increases for first three it shows this is group 6 element this is group 7 element and this one is group 8 but when what happen when it move from the fourth one the value is decreasing why the fourth one value is decreasing it means it is a group 1 element so ionization energy increases across the period but as the period changes the ionization energy decrease because as a successive atomic number the ionization energy will be smaller is it clear now and the calcium question because calcium the last shell they, we need a five successive calcium ionization calcium is have in the last shell calcium is having two electrons so means the first two ionization energy should be closer but when we remove the third electron ionization energy should be higher or big jump will be there so you can see first example 590 1145 and then 4912 so it's a big jump so when there is a big jump it means the shell changes so this a is representing the ionization energies of calcium or first five ionization energy of calcium an atom of a silicon has a mass number of 29 complete the table silicon atomic number is 14 so how many protons will be there 14 how many electrons will be there 14 and how many neutron 14 minus 29 so that's equal to 29 minus 14 that's equal to 15 then complete the electronic structure of silicon what is the electronic structure of silicon we have to arrange 14 electrons so 1s2 is there so 1s2 then it will be 2s2 2p6 so 10 arrange then 3s2 3p2 will be there this is the electronic structure of silicon explain the following by reference of a different in structure and a bonding why silicon has a higher melting temperature than phosphorus so what's the reason when you compare their structures so the reason is that as you know silicon having a giant structure group 4 element silicon is giant covalent structure where phosphorus is simple molecular 
so it require greater energy to break the bonds within silicon that's why it is having a high melting point temperature so silicon is a giant covalent structure where phosphorus is a simple molecular structure and because there are more bonds in the giant structure so we need greater amount of energy to break like to separate them magnesium is having higher melting temperature than sodium both are the metals but why magnesium because as we move across the period the size of the ion decreases so sodium ion it's only plus charge they both have the lattice of a positive ion and the free electrons but sodium lattice will have a large ion where in magnesium the size of the ion will be smaller the positive ion so they will have greater attraction or a binding and the charge because magnesium is group 2 so magnesium lattice the positive ion will have plus 2 charge where sodium lattice the ion the positive ion will have plus 1 charge so how we explain this difference why magnesium so first thing you will mention magnesium ions are smaller then what happen as the ions are smaller so magnesium ions have greater attraction towards the positive ion a greater attraction towards the delocalized electron more ions or more electrons for magnesium in the structure so it has stronger or greater attraction is it clear the reason the reason why the magnesium is having a higher melting temperature than of that of sodium sodium ions are larger so smaller weak attraction towards the positive ion electrons whereas magnesium plus two charges in the positive ions so stronger attraction small also so greater number of charges as well as stronger attraction suggest why atomic radius decreasing going across the period from sodium to silicon like when we move across the period from sodium to silicon why we observe that the size like sodium is larger in size than magnesium smaller aluminum smaller and it it is getting smaller what is the reason why the size is decreasing across the period so what happen as we move across the period there are more protons because proton number increase as we move across the period so more protons are there attracting electrons from same shell so greater attraction
towards the nucleus. So size decreases. Because what happened? Like example, if I draw sodium. So sodium, this is a nucleus of a sodium which having which is having 11 proton and uh, 23 neutrons are there. First shell, it will have two electrons. Second shell, it will have eight electron. And the third shell, it will have one electron. But when we draw magnesium, the same uh, it will have, but it will have 12 protons. And the same electrons, the third shell electron that is attracting. So as it is attracting electron from the third shell, so what we'll observe same number of shell, but because there's a greater number nuclear charge, so more attraction towards the nucleus, that's why the size decreases across the period. Is it clear? Is it clear the reason why the size decreases as we move across the period? The diagram shows the value of ionization energy of uh, sodium and magnesium. On the diagram, add a cross to mark the position for aluminum. So if you remember that table, the trend a pattern in ionization energy. So what is the pattern in ionization energy? Normal pattern. For first two elements, it increases. like group one element, then group two, it increases. Then group three, it decreases for group three. Why it decreases for group three? Because of shielding effect. Then group four, it increases. Then group five, group six. So group six should be higher, but what we observe is not higher it also decreases. Why group five and six? Because of the pairing of electron in the p orbital. And then group seven is there and group eight. So this is a pattern which it follow. So this is group one sodium and second is magnesium. So where aluminum will be there, it should be before between magnesium and aluminum, between sodium and magnesium. And where silicon, the fourth element will be there, it will be above so if you are making for aluminium it should be between and if you are making for silicon it will be higher and why there is a dip here from second to third that's because of shielding effect of different orbitals same shell but different orbitals are used is it clear this part i'll continue this in the next session